in this problem, we're going to calculate the distance from, let's say, point A to this plane here. So if I'm going to find that distance, imagine I have a plane. And I have some point here, A. And I'm looking for, the distance implies the shortest distance. So I'm going to look for some point B here where I know that they're perpendicular. Well, in doing so, I can find this line here. And so to find that line, we'll call it line AB. As a point, a starting point, which is negative 1, 1, negative 1, plus t, with this direction vector line is the same as the normal. And so that's going to be 1, 1, 1. So now if I want to find point B, I have to take this line and plug it into this plane here. And I know that this line, to be good notation, I'm going to say x, y, z. How about I actually write something so we can see that it's z? Okay, so I'm going to plug it into this plane here. So I know it's negative 1 plus t plus 1 plus t. That's my y, and then I'm following my z, which will be negative 1 plus t. And that has to be 2. So simplifying this, I know that those two cancel away. And so I'm left with 3t minus 1 equal to 2. So 3t is equal to 3, and so t happily is 1. So what does this value mean? It means if t is 1, if t is 0, I have a. That's my starting point. If t is 1, I've stretched this vector out to get to b. So with this being 1, with t being 1, I have this vector right there. And I want to find the length of that vector. And so I want to find the length of t being 1, of 1, 1, 1. To find the length of it, I look for the magnitude, and that will be my distance. So finding distance d is simply going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is the square root of 3, is the shortest distance. So to summarize, find a point. From the point to the plane, I make an equation of a line through the point perpendicular to the line. And then I look for this point b, or specifically this vector, a, B, and I can find its magnitude.